Hey guys, Jeff Schmidt from Alien Imaging Sound Design, and I just wanted to take you through a little tour of Ultra Effects 2, the library from Alien Imaging Sound Design. So let me just show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you through the demo, which looks like this, uh, Pro Tool session. But first, let me just take you through the library itself. This is what you get when you download it. Um, these are the files that are included. You'll get little demos of all the Alien Imaging libraries to date. So in case you've missed anything, uh, Get into the effects. So there's like, I'm kind of simplifying stuff. I used to include a lot more categories and I'm just kind of like really just, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i finding it just simpler to find stuff. So there's ultra effects. This is the main kind of effect of the library. The main sound, there's 185 of them. And these basically are categorized like this, right? They're just this starters, stuff like that. And I'll show you in the demo how I use all this stuff. Micros, which are basically the same kind of sounds, but just shorter, right? Micro, they're smaller sounding a little bit. I, I use them to break up as like kind of punctuation almost in promos, things like that. So there's 50, some of those. Uh, shells, I know when you're working with production services, you think a shell has like, you know, a pre-produced thing. But in my instance, this is just a hit and then kind of like a, a pad and then, a, and then a ramp back up. So, so kind of like it descends into like a little paddy thing. And, um, and then it eventually will ramp back up to a, kind of to some kind of crescendo, right? So obviously, as, you'll, as I show you in the demo, I never really just take these just as they are. I always cut them up and mix and match and produce them, use them in production for what they do. Um, hits and ramps are basically the same idea. I just broken them apart. So instead of having the full ramp, you just have the hit, and it just fades off. And same thing with the ramp is just just builds up, right? Uh, loops, you know what loops are. And there's uh, 33 of these, just like in the other Ultra library. Um, mostly dance music based, and I think that's, uh, you know, again, this is not a dance music library, but it'll certainly work on hits and dance based music. I'm using it on sports stations, I'm using it on rock stations. Uh, I'm not using these loops on those stations. <laughs> that's, I mean, that, well, actually the, uh, this, stuff, this stuff will work. I've used this stuff on, on sports stations, but um, the point being is it just it's just for the demo, and if you're into that kind of music and you're doing that kind of production, those loops will be helpful, but most most cases, like, the music defines the genre, so if you put, if you put rock beds into these sounds, it's going to become a rock library. If you put country beds, if you put AC sounding music in there, all of a sudden the library takes on a completely different vibe, but for the demo purposes, I like the movement of more of a beat-based kind of thing. Uh, textures, a lot of guys, they, they email me like, what am I supposed to do with these? And I'll show you in the demo. Um, I love this kind of stuff because there's always time in a promo or in any kind of production where you want to stop. You want to stop down and just leave a voiceover saying something, right? To kind of, and I always like tucking something underneath the, the voiceover rather than just letting it sit out there all by itself. Although that can be really effective too. Sometimes just tossing one of these things underneath the voiceover kind of gives it a vibe. So I'll show you in the demo how that's been put to use. So all told, there's like 320 different effects. Basically, um, I had so much fun using, when I created Ultra Effects, the original, I had so much fun using it myself. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta make more of this stuff. So I started making more and then I realized um, I should probably just make so much more that I could sell it as a whole new library and offer it to people. Um, so that's what I did. So here's the demo. If you haven't heard the demo, let's just listen to a few seconds of it. Um. From the super secret sound labs and alien imaging sound design. You wanted more. We're bringing it. We're, we're bringing it. The next big thing. The next big thing. In the alien imaging ultra effect series. Alien imaging sound design presents... Ultra Effects 2. Ultra Effects 2. Ultra Effects 2. Hundreds more off the planet imaging effects. Ultra Effects 2. Ultra Effects 2. Beds and Beats. Beds and Beats. Okay, it'll be, you get the idea, right? Okay, so these are all the voice tracks up here. Uh, voice tracks brought to you by Chuck Matthews. Uh, who is the uh, this male voiceover? Ultra effects. <laughs> no, that's not him. <laughs> that's Aaron Setch. Uh, Aaron Setch is the female voice. 
This here is St. John. St. John from 99.7 Now in San Francisco. You can grab him through uh, Benstown, I believe. He does uh, voiceover through Benstown. Uh, Aaron Satch is available at femalevoiceover.com. And Chuck Matthews is uh, this guy. Oh my God, I can't We're find bringing. Chuck. Here's Chuck. You wanted more. Chuck is the deep voice guy. Uh, Chuck has voice of God. Alien-imaging.com. Right? That's Chuck. Ultra Effects 2. Yeah. Let's look at these sounds. Um, so this top, I'm just going to deal with these, these tracks here. Voiceovers up here. Effects library down here. This track here is VO effects. So we're going to ignore this. I'm just going to show you what's on here first. These are just like reverse VO effects. Right? Ultra effects too. That kind Ultra of stuff. effects too. Just that kind of stuff. And there's some delay on it. And uh, so we're going to, we're going to ignore that. That's nothing. Um, nothing you need to be concerned with in regards to what's in the library, I guess is what I'm really trying to say. It's early for me. So, uh, this first track is the beats, um, as I showed you in the, or the loops, uh, as I showed you in the folder, uh, there's like 30, some of these, but we'll just listen to a few of these. You know, very clubby. There's an iteration on that one. And most of them do kind of have a little intro piece, which is different from, they, they're kind of mostly like uh, eight to 16 bar loops. They're not full songs. Um, right. And you can tell I got delay on there. So I use, just as a general production technique, I tend to use a little bit of ping pong delay on mostly everything that I'm doing, most particularly if it's tempo based. So this session is uh, racked up to 140 BPM. Most of the sounds in the beds are all produced in that range. Um, you'll notice though that I don't always stick to 4-4 four, four measure. In other words, I'm not using all four beats sometimes. Sometimes I'll use more, sometimes I'll use less, depending on the message. So, um, and that's fine as long as you're sticking with tempo. The the uh, and you're using um, uh, you know like I think mine are, I think mine's a dotted eighth and a quarter note back and forth, right? So, um, and it, it just kind of helps fill in stuff. So that's kind of like a, just a general production technique I use. So just in case you think you're hearing stuff that's not in the library, yeah, it's delay. You got delay too. Okay. The next uh, track here is filter. So basically like I just took a, a couple of, of effects in here and I put them in and I just threw a little filter on it. And um, you can see basically it's a high pass filter and I'm throwing, throwing it up around 340. Uh, this is just to take some of the low end out, and I like the sound of the vintage filter filter more than EQ. Just just a personal preference of mine in Pro Tools, but you could have just as easily put a simple EQ on and notched out everything below 340, and you'd get the same sound roughly. Um, but I'll just, the next beat. just kind of show you what that does. So, so turn it off, right? So I just wanted something a perfectly fine sound, but I just wanted something to have a little bit of a lighter touch on it. So I just engaged the filter. Right, it just knocks that low end out, and now it kind of fits in. Alien imaging ultra effect series. Alien imaging. Because I already had low end coming from this effect down here, if you hear it, right? So I really just wanted it. It's just a little. Just want to put a little cherry on top of that. Uh, same thing down here. I, and you see, I don't. I don't have a lot of effects there, but like I had a lot of stuff going on, so I wanted to filter some of the frequencies out on this one. So if I um, if I mute this. Uh, and just listen to this. And then with the filter. Again, because I'm getting a lot of low frequency information from this one. That's pretty pretty broad bandwidth sound. So I, you know, just making stuff play together, sometimes you gotta notch some stuff out. And you'll notice I didn't do a lot of that here. So a lot of these sounds play well together. This here is just, this is a vocal effect. So, right? Just a breath uh, that I reversed, reversed verbed. And then again, back here, more of these mini micro set sounds. These are the uh, micros that I just kind of throw in as punctuators. And this is typically how I use the micros. Effects two. Copyright worldwide. Alien imaging. Jeff. Right. And I just shave a little bit of the low end off because I'm getting plenty of low end from the beat. Just a production technique that I do. Okay. So let's just dig into some of these effects now. Now, I know none of you guys are starting your promos like this. But I do, <laughs> particularly on my sports station. I know I've said this before, and I know this dry probably drives PPM 
you know guys in the u.s crazy but i know most guys are like this is my pro that's my promo starter for my for my promo right because i i only get 28 seconds to do my promo so i'm not going to dedicate two of it to an effect i get that uh in which case like i said in the last demo just if that's all you need, that's all you have to use. You don't have to use the whole effect, right? I mean, again, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use the whole thing. And you'll see uh, further down into some of these other sounds that I'll chop up my own sounds all the time. I'll edit stuff and mix and match. And that's just kind of basic production. But I just want to show you how this is built because you're going to get this sound, right? And then you're going to get this sound. But you're going to be like, well, where's this sound? You know, that's how you get it. Uh, again, you know, I tend to layer a lot of stuff up. So I just wanted to take you through this so you can kind of see where everything's going. Now, I hit a, I put a shell intro on here. Um, just because I wanted it to, you know, and there's a beat, obviously. I wanted it to kind of tie the effects together with the beat. So if I do it without the, without the, uh, without the shell, this is what it sounds like. Perfectly fine. I dig it, right? I just liked... It just throws a little bit of something in there that's, you know, and I think that's just kind of how I view things. I just always looking for that little extra something to throw in that's that's cool. Um, again, getting back to what I said earlier, is like, you know, some guys are asking, like, what do I do with these textures? You wanted more. Right? It's just a breakdown. So when you're going from this section here, sound design. You wanted more. You know, without it, it's perfectly fine without it. You know, if I just... You wanted more. That works too. Absolutely. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But this is an effects library demo. And guess what? I'm trying to show you effects. So I'm going to put effects in there. Design. You wanted more. Right? So that's <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. All right. More of these effects. <laughs> So this one here, if I took uh, the Aaron's reverse vocal out, what would this sound like? And there's also a vocal effect here, right? So I can take that out too, because that's not on the library. That's just a that's just something I produced because I'm I was just messing around and just wanted to include more funky stuff. So let's listen to this section without those two things. We're bringing it. We're, we're. That works too, right? You don't need the reverse thing, and you don't certainly don't need this. But to me, it's like two little things that are cool. But those are production techniques that you would do on your own with your own voiceovers, right? So if you wanted to do those things, that's why. Uh, once again, adding a shell to um, the shell effects to the uh, loops, some a technique I do. We're, we're bringing it. And just to hear them by themselves, like if without the without the shell. We're, we're bringing it. The next big thing. The next big thing. Perfectly, you know, perfectly fine. Um, we're, we're bringing it. Big thing. The next big thing. The Alien Imaging Ultra Effect Series. Alien Imaging Sound Design presents. Once again, a texture. You know, take it out. Works. It works just fine. Series. Alien Imaging Sound Design presents. But you know, again, I'm selling sounds, so I'm going to show you the sounds that are in the library, and that's an opportunity to do that. So you'll see. Here's an example of where I took a shell and I edited it. Um, so it, it worked the way I wanted it to. So this one here, I was going to set, copy it, is another shell. Um, what am I doing? Mm. Right. I just decided I'm just going to use this. I just want to use really this little back part of it, not even the whole thing, right? And this one here, same, same deal. I just wanted to use the front of this one. Or maybe that is the front. It's, I think it's the same shell. That's the same shell as this. So I just edited it to fit. Um, and just did a little crossfadey thing, and then... Alien Imaging Sound Design presents... Obviously, this is really uh, over, over, overblown here. You probably wouldn't do this in a promo, like, you know, put that much production set element effects in, although you might. Again, this is just trying to kind of, like, use effects to show effects. <laughs> Ultra effects too. So this is a pretty substantial compound sound that if you're looking for that exact sound in the library, you have to make it. So it's, let's just go through the elements of that real quick. 
A lot of low end from the texture, right? Some uh, nice movement on that and fade out. This is real. And this is really just for the, just to give the hit a little more heft. And that's actually kind of sloppy there. I typically don't do that. I typically fade out stuff. Uh, and that just must have been. Ultra FX2. Yeah. Ultra FX2. So it sounded sloppy all by itself, but it actually, because the voice comes in on this bar, um, I wanted it to cut out. So obviously listening to stuff in the clear, it sounds like, oh, it's not, you know, it's got a. I typically try to fade things out. You know, I didn't do that either, either, because there's usually little clicks and stuff. I just try to remove all that stuff because I'm anal that way. Anyway. Ultra FX2. Ultra FX2. Ultra FX2. Hundreds more off the planet. Uh, more beats. Ultra FX2. Another texture. Another bed effect. And beat. Another bed. Another hit. Another ramp. Starter. I'll just go through these real quick. Um, monstrous. This has got a couple different sounds on it here. Ultra effects two. Ultra effects two. Ultra effects. This is uh, again. Aaron's breath reversed. And this here down, this is, so this is a texture down here. Let's take this out. That's the texture that's in the library. Uh, this is a ramp that's in the library, or that's a, it's the back end of a shell, this here. And I just did a little bit, I just dropped the volume on it a couple dB because it was, it was getting in the way of the voiceover. It was just a little too overbearing by itself. Right, so I just kind of reduced it, and then when you hear it in the mix, it's kind of just in there, but it doesn't distract too much. Ultra effects too. Download now. Download. And you can argue that maybe that would, that should have come up, you know, another half dB or whatever. Download now. Download now. In full This is just a micro. Download now. Yeah. Download. Download now. Just like the way it moved to there, and this is just a, you know, I just use this one to split up the beats so I can change beats. <laughs> Copyright Worldwide. Alien Imaging, Jeff Schmidt Productions. And that's just a pre-produced alien, little alien logo thing that I made uh, to tuck on the end. So that is Ultra Effects 2, The Library. Get it now at alien-imaging.com. Any questions, shoot me an email or a message on the video. Uh, and I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.